The more the crypto market grows, the more blockchains we have as options, and the more necessary platforms become that enable the movement of balances from one network to another. Hello everyone, I'm Vinicius Ferreira, and in today's video, we're going to talk a little about the Swapbox platform, which is precisely a cross-chain DeFi aggregator. Basically, this tool allows you to send tokens from one blockchain network to another, and even exchange these tokens in a single transaction. All of this is done using liquidity from various different platforms. So, let's get started. First, within the Nabox wallet ecosystem, we have the Swapbox, which is the tool we'll be discussing in today's video. Despite being a tool within the Nabox ecosystem, which is a web wallet that you can use in your browser or on your phone through the app, this tool also works with MetaMask. To access this tool is very simple. You'll visit the website nabox.io. I'll leave the link in the description below. Here in the ecosystem tab, just click on Swapbox or directly access swap.nabox.io. As you can see, there are several wallet options for you to connect and use this tool. I'll connect MetaMask here just to give you an example. I'll connect with my account 1. Done. Now I'll generate the L2 address, which is a second layer address used for these transactions. I've already signed here and generated this address. Done. I can now use my MetaMask in this tool. So it's possible to use MetaMask if you prefer. But in this video, I'll use the Nabox wallet itself. So I've accessed another browser here. I'll connect with my Nabox wallet, account 1, connect, and done. I've made the connection. For those unfamiliar with the Nabox wallet, it's very similar to MetaMask, but comes with various pre-configured blockchain networks and some additional compatibilities, such as the Nulls blockchain. So in the first example, what am I going to do? I'll go to my wallet and select the Nulls blockchain, where I have a balance to use as an example. So I selected the Nulls blockchain. After that, Swapbox has automatically switched to the Nulls blockchain. Everything's fine. I want to exchange Nulls on the Nulls blockchain for example, for USDT on the Binance Smart Chain Network, so BSC Network, and I want to receive it in USDT. And how many Nulls do I want to sell here? I'll put only 100 for the example. It will be approximately 16.86 USDT. It's important to always check if there's a significant spread, or what the difference will be at the time of the exchange you're going to make. As not all pairs have such great liquidity, especially when you involve coin exchanges. Like in my case, exchanging nulls for USDT while switching blockchains. So it's always interesting to see if the price is right. So, 100 nulls here is costing $1.1886, and here on CoinGecko, 100 nulls is costing $1.1714. The difference is small. So I'll click next and confirm to make this exchange for you to see how it works. After the pop-up appears, just sign the transaction and wait. Ready guys. After waiting a few minutes, I can now check in my Nabox wallet. The Nulls has already left the Nulls blockchain. Now I'll check here on the Binance Smart Chain or BNB Chain blockchain. As you can see, the balance is already here, $1.1686, and it didn't take long. Guys, when you want to exchange one token for another on different blockchains, this usually involves a higher spread, because they often have less liquidity, at least for now. Remember, this is a new platform that is constantly expanding. So now I'll give you another example. I selected the BSC network here and also selected in my Nabox or MetaMask wallet, the BSC network, where I exactly have a balance. Here in the coin section, I selected USDT on the BSC network. Down here I want to send this USDT. The same USDT but now on the Polygon blockchain. In short, I'm sending USDT from the Binance network to USDT on the Polygon network without changing the coin. As you can see, the fee ends up being very small, and the spread is also very small. So in some cases, where you will keep the coin and only change the network, usually you have much greater liquidity and even a perfect parity. Only the platform fees are charged. Usually when you use this tool, it recognizes your wallet on another blockchain network. This happens because often when they follow the same pattern, it's basically the same address. So if you send a BNB coin for example, to the Polygon blockchain, the system will automatically send it to your own wallet that's there in MetaMask or Nabox. Here as you can see, the address where you will receive this asset is displayed. This address is automatically collected from your own wallet. So let's take advantage of this and run a test. Let's try to send USDT from the Nabox wallet on the BNB chain to the Polygon blockchain, keeping the same USDT, but using a different wallet address. In this case, from Trezor. So what am I going to do? I'll go to MetaMask and get the address from my Trezor wallet. I've copied it, and now I'll paste it in this field changing the default destination address. Will it work? Can I send the token from one network to another using a different wallet? Well, let's click on next. 
My Trezor address is correct. Now, I'll confirm and wait. I've confirmed the transaction. As you can see, here in MetaMask, I still don't have any USDT. I only have Matic and a bit of sand. Ready guys. I waited a few minutes and as you can see, in my MetaMask wallet $16.80 USDT has appeared. If it doesn't appear, even for a more popular coin, just click on the refresh list, and it should usually show up. So look how cool. Basically, I sent USDT from a wallet on the Binance Smart Chain, to another wallet which could be someone else on the Polygon blockchain. In this case, I sent the same token, but I could also exchange for a different token. In general, if you use various blockchain networks or need to transfer balance from one blockchain to another, eventually this tool will be very useful. But it's always good to provide some warnings for you. First, always check if there's a spread, that is, a price difference between tokens when you simulate in this tool. Second, try to use major coins because you'll generally find more liquidity. Third, whenever choosing a different token, check the selected blockchain network in the corner, and also the token contract that appears below. Do this to avoid selecting the wrong token. And fourth, always make sure that the destination address shown here, is indeed the address of the wallet you want to send to. For example, final 9687, and 9687. In this case, my address was recognized correctly, but it's always good to double check. Anyway guys, the function I wanted to show you is precisely this. I recommend that if you're testing the platform, start with very small amounts. Just so you can understand a bit how it works and have some hands-on experience. After you've learned how it works with small amounts, then you can actually do this with the amounts you really need to move between networks. If you have any doubts, no problem, you can put them in the comments below. Whenever possible I'll be responding to you. Also, there's an official Nabox group in other languages, and I'll leave the links in the description for your convenience. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this content. If this information helped you in any way, and you want to support this channel, just leave a like on this video because it's 100% free, and it really gives a significant boost to my work here on YouTube. Another thing, don't forget to check if you've already subscribed to this channel, and if you've activated the notification bell. This way, you won't miss the next content I'll bring to you. But now I'll wrap it up here. Thank you very much for your audience, and I'll see you in the next video. So until then, bye bye.